Here, we are going to observe the motion of planet Jupiter as seen from the Earth. We will also be plotting its path and some interesting pattern might evolve from that. As I said, we are going to observe the motion from Earth and uh, the meaning of that is we are going to place ourselves, the observer, on the Earth. And whenever the observer places itself on a body, then the motion of that body is not going to be perceived by the observer. So what happens to that motion? Well, the reverse of that motion gets added to all the bodies around it. Uh, it is something like, you know, sitting in a moving car. While sitting in that car, you will not see the motion of the car as such, but rather you will see the trees, the buildings, the road signs going backward with the same speed as the car. So something like that is going to happen here as well. When we place ourselves on the earth, we will not see the earth going around the sun, but rather the sun going around the earth in the reverse direction. So here is the distance of the earth from the sun, that is one astronomical unit. And we will see the sun orbiting the earth like this uh, with a radius of one astronomical unit. What about uh, Jupiter? Well, we will still see Jupiter as going around the sun. So here is the radius of uh, the Jupiter's orbit and it is about 5.25 astronomical units. I have altered this distance a little bit. They round it off to some nice value. And uh, we will see the orbit of Jupiter around the sun like this. So we are now ready to set this system of three bodies into motion. At the center of the system is the Earth. Uh, the observer is sitting there. So we will not see it moving at all. Then uh, the sun over here would appear to be moving around the Earth okay, once every year or every 365 days. And finally, we will see the gas giant of our solar system, Jupiter, uh, which is going to go and orbit around the sun. But mind you, now in this system or in this observational frame of reference, uh, we are going to see the sun itself moving. Okay, so, even the orbit of Jupiter, uh, we would see moving with it. So, let us start the motion. So, here you can see the sun is going around the Earth and it is going to take about one year. Uh, then the orbit of Jupiter itself, the whole thing, okay, is moving with the sun. So, as the sun is going in a circle, the orbit, the whole uh, green circle here is going in a circle. And situated on that circle, in that orbit, Okay, is Jupiter here, which is going to move around the sun. You can see this line uh, connecting the sun and Jupiter that is changing its inclination or direction. So when the sun makes 12 revolutions, Jupiter will be making just one and it will be returning to its original position over here. Okay? So this looks like a, a very complex motion. But once we plot the path of Jupiter, the trace, uh, the motion will be able to reveal some patterns. So let's do this once again, but this time we'll be plotting the trace. So here is the motion again, but uh, you can see now the path of Jupiter is getting plotted. And you'll notice this path has a loop. In fact, it will be having multiple loops like this. Whenever there is a loop in a path, uh, then the body has to come backward and then resume its forward motion. That is what Jupiter is doing here. In fact, that's the main reason why these uh, celestial bodies, the so-called planets, got noticed in the first place. Uh, imagine our ancestors. They were observing the celestial bodies. They saw all the stars moving steadily in a forward direction over a period of a year. The sun and the moon were moving on the backdrop of that. But there were these curious bodies which were moving on that backdrop. They were moving forward for a while and suddenly they were stopping and coming back a little. In fact, this seemingly erratic motion of these bodies got them their label in the first place as planets. The word planet means wanderers. So these were wanderers going back and forth in the sky randomly okay, or seemingly randomly. So all the planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn were revealed because of this kind of peculiar motion. And the astronomers of those days had a very hard time explaining this without contriving of some artifacts. Uh, this artifact they called as epicycles. So they said, look, the planets are not directly going around the Earth, but they are going round and round in their own place. And the point about which they move is orbiting the Earth. 
So with help of uh, these so-called epicycles, they could explain and simulate this motion. In case of epicycles, there is a phase of coming back and that is called as the retrograde motion. The retrograde motion of Jupiter occurs every 13 months and lasts for four months. In case of outer planets, the retrograde motion long lasts longer because they are slow moving planets. So the Earth is moving much faster than them and overtakes them more often. 